In this video, we'll be completing another mole conversion. However, this one will be a little more involved. How many molecules are in a 3.0 gram sample of water? All right, water is H2O, and the molar mass is 18.0 grams per mole. So let's establish some conversion factors. If we have one mole of water, that's equal to 18.0 grams of water. Now how many molecules of water would that be? Of course, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of water. So if, if you need to, take a moment and pause this video um, right now and ensure that you understand that all of these are equivalent. Okay, so hopefully you've established that if you have one mole of water, you would also have 18 grams of water, and you would also have this many molecules of water. So if you had a cup with 18 grams of water in it, there would be 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of water in that cup. It's imperative that you understand that the three of these are equivalent. So let's carry this out like always. Start by writing the given. Now remember, we want to know how many molecules are in 3 grams of water. Well, if we have grams of water up here, we'll need grams of water down here. And we know that 18 grams is equal to 1 mole. So we can cancel out grams. Now the unit we're working with is moles. If we have moles in the numerator, we'll also need moles in the denominator. We know that one mole of water is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of water. So moles also cancel out. So in your calculator, using the E button, you would do 3.0 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd divided by 18.0. So punch that in your calculator and make sure that you get 1.0 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of water. Now we carried this dimensional analysis out in um, a couple steps. We're going to do the same problem but we're going to condense it. This will be a little bit shorter. So same as before, if we have grams in the numerator, we need grams in the denominator. And you must remember, whatever is in the numerator has to be equal to whatever is in the denominator. Those are the rules from before. And we're trying to get, of course, to molecules. So if we have 18 grams of water, isn't 18 grams of water equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of water? So check to make sure, is the numerator equal or equivalent to the denominator? It is. And does the unit in the numerator here cancel the denominator unit there? It does. So we can actually accomplish the same problem uh, in just one step if we'd like. Or you can do it like this um, if that's more comfortable for you. Either way um, is completely fine. Let's take it another step further. Let's say you were asked how many atoms are in the sample. Now, your ability to do this problem is predicated on your understanding of the difference between elements, atoms, and molecules. So if you don't remember that difference, go back to the videos and review that. So let's look at, at water. Water is H2O. This is one molecule of water, H2O. It's made up of two elements, hydrogen and oxygen. But how many atoms of hydrogen are there? There's two atoms of hydrogen, and there's one atom of oxygen. So one molecule of water is made from two different elements, hydrogen and oxygen. But one molecule of water is made up of three atoms, two hydrogens and one oxygen. So we know that we have um, this many molecules of water, and we want to know how many atoms are there. Well, 
We need molecules, of course, on the bottom. And we know, we've established, that one molecule of water has three atoms in it. So make sure th these are equivalent. If we have one molecule of H2O, don't we have three atoms? Sure we do. Two hydrogens and one oxygen. So molecules in the numerator will cancel molecules in the denominator. So just multiply this number times that number, and there is your total.